Hey guys, welcome back to Fire Emblem Heroes, and today, we're gonna be taking on the World of Awakening. But before we do that, yeah, listen to your guys' criticism. I'm gonna be mixing up some of the units that we use in episodes. I'm actually gonna test out Donald here, because in between episodes, I've been leveling him up a bit, testing him out. Sure, his speed stat is legit terrible, and his resistance isn't much better, but because he has the Brave Lance, he can attack twice if he initiates the attack. He also has Drag Back. I, I see this skill being pretty darn good, considering... Since you're the player, you're always going to be going first, so, I don't know. We're going to be testing him out in this episode, since seeing how he comes from Awakening, and he was pretty strong in Awakening, I think it makes sense. But before we get to that, also, let's talk about the lobby. So, haven't mentioned this before. There is a way you could upgrade your castle, and this does give a permanent EXP boost. However, since EXP has not been an issue at all for me to obtain, I'm not gonna like max out my castle yet, but I just wanted to say, yeah, it looks nice. We got a little carpet now. You can change like the design and stuff. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Be cool if there's like other customizable like things that didn't really impact the game, but whatever. I guess they'll do whatever uh, they get. Level seven? Only level seven? Oh my gosh. Maybe I've been grinding too much, but okay. Let's take this on with Donnie. Hopefully, we can sh we can pass the Awakening trial and. Are the invaders from the so-called Order of Heroes. We've just gotten word from the Emblean soldiers. They've come here to raise our realm. I'm warning you now. No one will bring harm to the Holodom of Yelisil. Yelis... Yelis... Whatever. Not on my watch. <laughs> no kidding, not on your watch? Krom, your eyes are giant! Anyways, now you face me and my shepherds. Lusa, Frederick, prepare for battle. Man, I really wish they would've, like, give him Robin. That would've been cool, but alright. Oh, this is so... Is this the... I think this is like one of the first maps on Awakening. I'm pretty darn sure. Now I'm pretty sure this is like kind of a recreation of the DLC map that you fight them on. I like that. That is a cool addition. Uh, we're going to move our units. George is be in the front lines. I don't even know why I moved him there. Uh, George has been pretty great to have. Not going to lie. I'm going to move Donald there. Donald doesn't have a great uh, skill, but you can basically swap HP with a target. I think that's pretty good in some situations. Like, I can basically just be like, all right, they have nothing but axe units. I'm just going to sack Donald's HP, right? And give it all to my Lin. I think that has some potential. Yes. I don't know about you, but yeah, we're going to put you right there. And <laughs> this is going to attack. She has fear. Her spell is fear. Look at her. Look at this adorable girl. She's going to inflict fear on us and do damage. I don't I don't see that happening. Anyways. <laughs> Let's just see what Donnie can do. Come on, Donnie. Get him. Oh crap, Frederick. Oh crud, his axe! Ah! Wait, doesn't he always have a lance? I think that's what like Frederick is mostly known for. And wow, she won't even use her. It's oh my gosh, this is so I can't even handle it. I can't. I can't. Anyways, uh George, knock him out. So here's George's deal. He's gonna double just about everything. I understand this is a really weak unit, but at the same time, and oh my gosh, my Donald is going to kill Krom. Oh, well, that's just embarrassing. Um, do we feed more EXP to Donald? Yeah, I think we should. Let's just do that. Let's skip our turn, and she'll inflict fear. <laughs> She's so happy when doing it. It's like, I'm gonna make you die. Oh man, our stats went down. Oh yeah, our attack was reduced. Bummer. Oh well, let's uh. Oh wow, it's reduced so much we can't even finish off Lissa. It's kind of crazy actually. Oh well, let's just let George get the finishing blow. So George is really good at two things: sealing and like rallying my speed. So when he attacks a unit, that unit loses some attack points. So that's really nice to have. Sealing skills and my eyes seem pretty good. And speaking of eyes, Anime Crom here, and you will not admit defeat so easily. The rest of the Shepherds will stop you. Our bonds are strong. And we will never submit to you, villains! How about that, bro? Um, Veronica looks excessively villain-like. Are you are you sure that I'm the bad guy? Whatever. We're taking on Blade and Dancer. Ooh! I hope Olivia will be here. So, from what I gather, and this is just based off like the last episode being about Roy. Oh my gosh, this is a remake of that map too from Fire. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm lit. This is so cool for me. I don't know about you guys. But I'm gonna move Donald right. right there. Let's show off the seal attack a bit. Um, I'm gonna move. Of course. Okay, move you. There's way more precise. Oh my gosh, never mind. He's just gonna kill it. Well, crud. I wanna show off his like 
special attack too, but I don't think I'm gonna get it, unfortunately, unless that other Bowman decides to fight me, but... Seeing how they couldn't add it, literally every single Fire Emblem character from every single game into the game at launch, it seems like some for some of the chapters where it's like Binding Blade, for instance, if they don't... Oh my god, so it is. To be form is so cute, but... Since they don't have a ton of characters, basically what I'm trying to say is, they'll just substitute it with... Oh my gosh, Long Ku looks really cool. They'll substitute it for really generic soldiers, like that one guy. Oh crud, he has Vantage? Wait, Vantage is actually in the game? I thought, like, Lin's version of it was just, like, a really bad version, and... Oh, she does get Dance. Huh, I guess that's, like, you have to love her up a bit. I have an Olivia, but I don't think she's that strong, and poor Olivia. It's like, everyone's dead, but I'll stop this raging pothead! <laughs> Alright, Don, I'll get in there. Get the finishing, but go for the kill! Does Patrick say that in a random episode of Spongebob? I don't know. I am extremely tired today, guys, but I still wanted to provide you with some Fire Emblem content, so here we are. I spent, like, literally, like, a whole day building a single desk. I don't know how... I'm pretty sure it was a two-man job. The instruction manager said, use two people, and I was like, I'm two people and a half. I'm not two people and a half. So I'm, like, really wiped out, but I still really wanted to play Fire Emblem so I could grind up some more, so... What's next? So that's what we're doing right now. Um, man, we really can't move too far. If George like started up there, he could actually move and like attack, but unfortunately he didn't. All right, so sure, this map isn't really tough, but I still can't like one round a lot of these units because his just speed stat is so bad. It looks like his defense isn't terrible though. Either that or just right. games characters are just, or at least during this chapter, not fair. Oh my God, two hits of 41. I don't think any unit in Fire Emblem's ever had 80 HP. That wasn't like a super boss. That'd be like kind of crazy, but... I don't think terrain is actually a thing in this game, because she's definitely on the mountain terrain. And if I'm still doing like the normal amount of damage I usually do, that's kind of odd. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I prefer if like terrain would be like a thing in the game. It makes, it'd be kind of like bullcrap though, if some of the arena maps weren't like, uh, completely fair. Got it. Wait, I didn't attack one? <laughs> I totally, I thought I totally overlapped it, but I guess not. But yeah, just finished off that lance, and can yes. anyone go and finish? Oh my gosh. What's next? We're just out of range to kill the Pegasus. You know what? Whatever. Just die to Roy. Do whatever you gotta do. Wait, that's Cordelia? Dude! I didn't even notice. Oh my gosh, you look so cool. Oh crud, Donald. All right, she looks cool, but not that cool. All right, finish her off. Oh man. I can't believe they put could Well, I guess I understand. She's one of, like, the most beloved Pegasus Knights. Honestly, though, Pegasus Knights have always been pretty loved in the franchise. Wait, did I not equip his skill? Did I not? Okay, I did. I still haven't shown that off yet. I don't know why. In Surprising Villager. Oh, snap. Donald's gonna face his shadow. <laughs> Wait, who are you? Okay, I'm not gonna quote Persona right now. That's just stupid. <gasps> Ro female Robin's in the game? Oh, and she has pink hair. Maybe that's just, like, light. I don't really know. Has Elwin though, that's kinda cool. Um Crud, what do we do? Alright. So if I destroy that. Wait, oh my gosh. Camilla at the start is vulnerable to that Let's unit. Go. Okay, I'm gonna destroy this. Yes. Going to move right here. Of course. Move up there. I don't know what else we're gonna do. Okay, whatever. We'll just end our turn. I it's hard for me to break the habit. Oh my gosh, my Roy has a lot of HP. I didn't even realize. I've been like using the, um, what's it called? Yeah. Tower a lot. The training tower. A ton. And oh man, I'm sorry, Donald. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny though to think about it. Donald and Roy are basically around the same age, but one of them is a little more uh, broken than the other. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's actually kind of fair because Donald's like the most powerful oh, villager nice. I think the franchise yes. has ever had. What's next? And, what's his name? Roy just got really lucky and got a sword that's pretty broken in. Oh, crud. That almost killed. Double L wins. Man, Robin ain't messing around. Holy crud. No, no. Are you gonna use fear, too? No, that wasn't fear. That was something different. Oh, well. We'll work around it. But since we can get close to Robin... Oh, man. We can almost finish her. Oh, crud. I don't think we will. Hmm. Yes. What do we do then? Well, I guess she can go... Wait. She should take damage from Camilla's signature attack. So that should be able to, like, 
Okay, that did three. Oh man, we're so close. If only I had rally uh, strength still. I actually got rid of Alphonse and um the other unit. What was her name? Oh man, no, Donald! Oh my gosh, cut down in his prime. That is depressing. Oh well, we'll get retribution. But um, I did replace Alphonse, Anna, or Anna. And what was it? Uh, basically, all the units the game starts you with, I found out, absolutely terrible. The second you get a better unit of their class, you should replace them. Kind of stinks, because I liked using uh, Sharina. She looks pretty cool. All right, level 10. Now we're starting to get to, like, where Donald probably won't survive every battle, but that's fine. I need to level him up a bit in Prince of Awakening. You made it all this way. What a shame that people with your skills are fighting on the wrong side. But you'll get no further. Not even with the talented tactician of yours, because we have our own. Robin, let's lead us to victory. The shepherds must get these villains to re reverse course. Yeah, this man looks weird. Oh, they got Stahl, Sully, and Robin. Okay. Uh, well, about your uh, brilliant tactician that um will lead you to victory. <laughs> Jeez, Camilla's just brutal, man. Like legit. Of course. How is that fair? I don't know, man. But okay. Um, probably we might actually lose Camilla. That would be bad. I'm going to move Donald right here. Let's, let's move George so he gets a speed increase. All right, see how well he does. Four against 11. Oh, man, Krom's thing looks really, really cool. Does Krom have any skills? I wonder. Oh, boy, Stahl. <laughs> His, like, recruitment quote is so funny. And, oh, man, I feel so bad for these characters. It's like, man, you're not Camilla. You're dead. Sorry. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Since this really didn't take up too much time, and from what I can gather... We're actually kind of powering through the content of yes. the game. I don't think the devs actually expected us to beat it all this fast. Just throwing that out there and okay. We're not in the danger zone yet. I'm gonna let George get the last kill on Sully. That makes the most sense, right? Just spread out our EXP. Actually, Got it. he's 14. He's 14 too. All right, I'm gonna, oh wait, can't finish him. Man, Donald, come on, dog. You can't finish off Sully. It's Sully, but apparently Sully's really good in this game too, but yeah. George, pretty darn good. I'm trying to, like, get more units that um attack from afar. Currently, I, I'm really low on tome users, actually, which stinks, but hopefully that's something will change in the future. Oh, seems that my eyes have suddenly opened. It's like they're literally referencing his eyes are giant. Now we have misjudged you. You have my gravest apologies, Prince Alphonse. All this time, you're operating under a deception. You've made it upside down. Oh, we had it upside down. The Order of Heroes came here to save us from the Emblean Empire. I only hope you can forgive us. You have my deep gratitude for rescuing our realm. Ain't no thing, Krom. It happens all the time, and our mission succeeded. We have saved the world of Awakening, and saved my brethren with the same identical hair. Of course, it's all thanks to you. I can see that with every success, your confidence grows. You give orders without hesitation. Bro, my units are so OP, it really doesn't matter. Order of Heroes is truly fortunate to have you. You know, there's something about their tactician that reminds me of you. It's just like you're a giant, uh, dra uh, anyways, it's like you have the same aura or something. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'm still your number one fan. Oh, sorry. It shouldn't surprise us too. People might seem alike, given how many worlds there are. Why, well, there are probably more than two hundreds even. <laughs> what? Well, now you're getting carried away, Commander. I don't know about that. Think so? Hmm. You never know. Anyways, let's get back to Asker. We finished our work here. Oh no. I've just gotten an urgent report. You're failing algebra. I mean, Ebola is the gateway that leads into the world of mystery. Again! Veronica must be hoping to regain Marth. Won't she ever stop trying to get the Hero King in her clutches? It's like she's a fangirl. And if not him, who might she be trying to get this time? Probably someone different, I hope, because, yeah, we're, we're, they didn't have a lot of maps. So, so we're going back to, mi oh, crap, Tiki, though. That's pretty cool, but, uh, yeah, back to what I was saying. So, since we're burning through the game really fast, I decided, let's, let's try something a little different. Let's go to battle and actually head over to the special maps. And, ooh, Subaki. Okay, so, this is interesting. So, these special maps can give you a unit every day. And there's really no downside to taking the free unit. The level five Subaki has, okay, let's think about this. I guess bringing in a sword unit here is kind of dumb. Crud, okay, so, despite that, 
I still think I'm gonna bring Roy. Let's let's attempt. Actually, no. I'm gonna bring Lin. I'm gonna swap her, him for her out real quick. I don't know about you. I love these type of things. This could be the worst unit in the world. I would still want to do this little map. I don't know why. That's just the type of person I am. But every episode, trying to show off something a little different. No, not Arena. Already did that. Eh. No, actually, kind of. Not really doing well in Arena now, but um. We have enough stamina to do both. So let's do Subaki Perfect Expert first, and then we'll we'll attempt the more difficult one. I'm pretty sure though that literally Camilla can just one shot everybody. But okay, let's move you. Wait, is this a okay? That's not a one block to destroy. All right, Subaki's a pretty meh unit, but I still want to get him anyways. All right, I'm gonna put Donald over here. Let's put Camilla over there. I think this could work. All right, they're slowly advancing on us. That's fine. Pretty much almost kill him in one round. That's good. Um, oh man, we're so close. That stinks. All right, I'm gonna move George right here. That should be okay. Um, oh man, Camilla's really close too. If I move Donald up though, there's gonna bum rush him. That's kind of bad. All right, assuming Subaki doesn't move. Okay, he did, and now he's dead. Subaki, so much for your perfect uh planning. Uh, you're dead. Sorry. Oh well, so, I think as long as, no, I, I don't know about this one, but the other requirement is you cannot lose a unit to clear it. And that's pretty hard, not gonna lie. Okay, we did drag him back, so we finally got to see that, luckily for us. Um, let's just destroy this Lance unit, Camilla. Probably gonna be really helpful in the next round, too. Let's go. And then, okay, Lynn could finish him off, but we don't really need that. Assuming that George can live one attack from, okay, yeah, it's gonna do one damage. We're fine. And he's also going to seal, I think, strength, so that's good. That Sword Knight got destroyed. And, yeah, as long as we don't bring any magic units, I think the next map might be easy, but I guess we'll see. I don't know, man. The last one did was pretty tough, and there he is. Everyone's husbando. Perfect expert, Subaki. I'm Subaki, a Sky Knight from the Kingdom of Hoshido. I'm perfectly delighted to answer your call. Cool, bro. I don't care. All right, let's do the hard one. This one is going to be marginally more difficult, but I'm up for the challenge. Hopefully, George can just one-shot everybody. So, it's the same exact map. Where did we mess up last time? You know, I don't really recall. Um, if we step onto that, though, we're pretty much dead. I think I'm going to move Donald, or I'm going to move Camilla right now. I just think I screwed up, because that unit's going to go to kill Camilla. And that Tsubaki can attack her and finish her off. Okay, that's bad. Let's check out his skill. Quick repulse. You know, automatically makes a follow-up. Oh, crud. That's What's way next? better than Lin's skill. Uh-oh. Um, not good. All right, let's destroy that. Get him in a position. Hopefully, Camilla can survive round one. 11 damage versus 11. That's not good. Hopefully, Tsubaki... Okay, Tsubaki was not in range. That works for me. Um... We gotta get them out of there. Nice. There's no way that they can survive another turn. Well. Oh my gosh, we messed up. I'm pretty sure at this point we should just surrender. I mean, at least I'm not still using Cecilia, right? Okay, I gotta rethink my turn one. What could I do differently other than position my units different? Actually, we survived. Oh crap, okay. um, Kill Tsubaki. He can do it in one hit. He can't double him because I guess he's really fast, but still, that's good. Now, like I said before, we cannot lose a single unit or it's GG. Maybe I should get another Bowman. That might help, actually. Um, of course. Let's see. Oh, if only I could move a little yes. bit more. Okay. Wait, she can move over there, but not take damage. Okay, so if Donald can just finish off that Pegasus, I do not deserve to win this one in my eyes because my first turn was really bad. But since Camilla is really good on offense, let's get you finish him off. Good job, Donald. I mean, I, I keep forgetting that hit rate isn't a thing in this game, but still, I just felt like saying good, good job, Don. Whatever. Okay, bad level up. Didn't get speed. Still, bummer. Oh well. What are you gonna do about it? Let's move Lin this way. Hopefully. All right. Whoa, he has a ton of HP. It looks like a lot of physical defense too. Oh gosh. We might want to actually swap HP with Camilla. Maybe. I don't know. I know we can survive another turn. I hope, anyways. I don't think this guy has any skills. Yeah, he just has a steel sword. But, man. Uh, yeah, not feeling really good about this victory, if I'm being totally honest with you guys. Orders? Not sure. Alright, let's see. Yeah, 
he will literally finish us off next turn. Wait, we'll survive with 1 HP, right? And he'll have 18. This is a sword unit, sure. But could Camilla right. potentially end him? She'll actually do zero damage. Oh my gosh. But we're not out of the woods yet. Okay, um... Let's get Camilla to destroy that. Maybe George can get... Yeah, George can get in range. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Okay, George, shoot the bow. That'll do two hits. Not bad. Um, And it'll, I think, decrease attack, too. Yeah, perfect! Oh my gosh, all right. That one actually made me think. I like this a lot. This is what I expected from, like, handheld tactics. Anyways, we won. Donald may not be the best in the world, but hey, he helped us in that battle. And as a reward, we'll get the other, Subaki. It was two silver stars. Eh, I don't know. It seems okay, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say what, like, is the best of the best at this point, since the game literally just came out. But anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next episode, where I guess we do more, some more of the main story. And head back to the mystery of the emblem. Guys, I'm so dumb. I forgot Shadow Dragon was the first game. I, I, when I saw Jagan, I thought, okay, this has to be first fire. Like, Anyways, not important. See you guys next time for some more mobile tactics, I guess. I don't really know. Is that already mobile? All right, I'm done talking. See you guys tomorrow. But today, I don't know when I'm uploading. Right, I'm going to go eat some cereal. It's the weirdest outro yet.